October 18, 2017 131 p.m. BY staff writer sourced Fox Sports Liverpool coach Jurgen Klopp. Source app hits all in Champions League extra time records Liverpool BROKEA 70 win was exactly what Liverpool fans and Jurgen Klopp wanted to see after mixed results in the first part of the season. The Reds' biggest stars Mohamed Salah, Philippe Coutinho and Roberto Firmino all got on the score sheet against Maribor, while new signing Alex Oxlade Chamberlain scored his first goal. In the process, Liverpool set the following records The Reds' biggest away win in Europe Biggest away win by an English team in Champions League history Equal biggest away win in Champions League history First English team to win by seven or more goals in Europe since Arsenal v Standard Liege in the Club World Cup 19,937 Biggest CL away wins Amsk Jelena 07 Marseille November 2010 BAT 07 Shakhtar Donetsk October 2014 Maribor 07 Liverpool October 2017 Info Optijo at Octajo October 17, 2017 It breaking the records will give the players a lot of confidence, said manager Klopp. I was told about the record after the game and I didn't know about it. The wonderful history of this club can feel like a backpack at times so it is nice to write our own good piece of the history, he added it will be difficult to beat that record. It is quite rare to win 70 but it showed we did unbelievably well. Maribor were quite confident before the game for different reasons. We could read the papers over here because my assistant speaks the language and he said they were positive because no English team had won in Maribor in the Champions League. Ronaldo sings UCL anthem like national anthem Cristiano Ronaldo is made for the big occasions, and evidently he savors every moment. The four-time UCL winner was caught on camera singing the Champions League anthem like a national anthem when Real lined up before the Tottenham clash. However, who can blame Ronaldo for feeling and connection to Europe's most famous club competition? The Portuguese superstar now has 95 goals in 91 Champions League games for Real Madrid after scoring in the 11 draw with Spurs. Ronaldo sings the Champions League tune like it's his national anthem Tears of Joy. Ethan Payne at Bezinger October 17, 2017 Spurs think Kane's worth more than Neymar in the lead up to the Spurs clash. All the focus was how Harry Kane would fare against the Portuguese superstar. The English striker has scored at a better goals games ratio than Ronaldo and had a golden chance to win the match for Tottenham against Real. Kane has been linked with a sensational move to the Spanish giant, but they would have to fork out a world record fee to sign him, according to the Times. The UK outlet reported that Spurs chairman Daniel Levy values Kane at £200 million, which is more than the £198 million PSG paid for Neymar. With Madrid reportedly weighing up a play for Kane next year, Manchester United legend Rio Ferdinand said Spurs should offer him a major increase in his contract. According to the Mail, Kane earns just over £100,000 per week on his contract until 2022, but Ferdinand said pay the man the money. You gotta keep him at the club, he added if him Harry Kane then the chairman his phone number is the most dialed number on my phone because him telling them there needs to be parity within the league, you've got a superstar in your team and there needs to be parity within the league. If HES looking around the league and sees players on phone number wages, I need to have some parity for what I'm doing, not only for last season it's the last three seasons HES been doing it, I would be scared if I don't get my top man signed up it'd be scared I would lose some of my other players. What's Dele Alli going to do, what's Christian Eriksen going to do if they don't get to him, signed up, Paris Saint-Germain's Brazilian forward Neymar R. Source AFPDE Bruyne wants deal on par with Neymar Kane ISNT the only player who could be worth as much as Neymar. Kevin De Bruyne has established himself as one of the Premier League's best players, and if Manchester City want to resign him, then they'll need to offer a wage close to Neymar's £32 million a year salary. In the coming months he'll meet with City to figure out how to improve and extend his contract, Patrick De Costa, De Bruyne's agent, told Radio CRC in Italy, his salary I cannot say. But if you think what Neymar and Kylian Mbappé are being paid, you can picture. De Bruyne has been an essential midfield cog in City's incredible start to the season but he nearly got himself in trouble with the officials. At half-time of City's 21 Champions League win, and after Napoli had missed a penalty, De Bruyne was filmed trying to approach the officials and had to be restrained by his teammates. Outrage over NNSPURS penalty over at the Bernabeu, former Spurs player Glenn Hoddle was also upset about a penalty, but it was one that WASNT awarded. Tottenham forward Fernando Llorente was brought down by Case Miro in the 18th minute with the game goalless, him outraged. 
It's a penalty, said Hoddle on the BT Sports coverage. Co-pundit Frank Lampard added Case Miros gone over the top there and dragged the back leg, both of them together for me makes it a penalty. He stops him being able to get to his feet, yeah, Lorente might have swiveled there, Hoddle said. HE's only six yards from goal and Case Miro has hooked him, Guardiola dedicates win to Dale Catalan separatists of Pep Guardiola dedicated his city's win to the two Catalan separatist leaders detained in Spain, this win is dedicated to them, Guardiola told reporters at the Etihad Stadium, in response to a question on the matter from a Spanish journalist, we have shown in Catalonia that citizenship is bigger than any ideas. We hope they will be released soon. Tens of thousands of people took to the streets of Barcelona on Tuesday to protest against the Madrid-based national courts ruling to keep Jordi Quixart and Jordi Sanchez behind bars pending investigations into sedition charges. It follows the bitterly contested Catalan independence referendum which was ruled illegal by Spain's constitutional court. Guardiola, a Catalan, is one of the most famous figures associated with Barcelona Football Club, having won multiple trophies there as both player and coach. Manchester City's Spanish manager Pep Guardiola are source AFP MARCELO accused of half a million euro tax fraud AFP Spanish prosecutors have accused Real Madrid's Brazilian left-back Marcelo of tax fraud totaling nearly half a million euros, a judicial source confirmed on Tuesday. The tax authorities believe Marcelo hid €490,917 $578,000 earned from his image rights using a network of shell companies outside of Spain. According to court documents, Marcelo earned €1,168,764 from his image rights in 2013, which were ceded to a Uruguayan company but should have been declared to the Spanish authorities. Marcelo is just the latest in a series of star players based in Spain to be accused of tax fraud on income related to image rights in the past few years. Real Altime leading scorer Ronaldo appeared in court in July over accusations. He evaded €14.7 million Euros worth of tax between 2011 and 2014. Barcelona duo Lionel Messi and Javier Mascherano received 21 month and one year suspended sentences respectively after being found guilty of tax fraud over their image rights in 2016. However, five time World Player of the Year Messi's sentence was later replaced by a €252,000 fine. Real Madrid's Brazilian defender Marcelo. Source AFP The Latest Sports News, in your inbox daily.